Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 51. So today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how uh, to find um, user accounts that have the password never expired checked off. Um, I was tasked on this a while back in my company to locate users that have this property checked off. Now the reason that I shouldn't have this on users is because it's uh, not best practice, it's a security risk. Uh, sometimes users do not like to change the passwords at all, but it, it's a good thing to constantly change your password every 30 days or every 60 days. Um, because if someone gets your password, they can log in as you, do whatever you want to do, and most likely a lot of users use the same password for everything. Bank accounts, uh, email accounts, login accounts, so it's not really nice to have this password never expires checked when you um, are logging into uh, a domain in your organization. So um, if you have like thousands and thousands of users, most likely you're not going to go into each OU and double click on the properties of each account and check if the, never, the password never expires is checked off. Uh, Quest Software have this cool plugin that you can add into your uh, PowerShell. It's free. Uh, I'm a, I'll post this site up on my blog, share it out to you guys so you guys can go to. And they have the 32 bit, 64 bit. I downloaded the, the exe file. They have it zipped. If you want to do the zip, go for it. I downloaded the 64 bit file and it's right here. I double clicked on it and run down. It gives you this little dialog box. Hit next, accept the agreement. Put the full name in your organization. Uh, make sure you check this. You do want to give PowerShell the execution policies to be assigned. So when you're running the PowerShell uh, commands, it should go through with no problem. Hit next. Uh, hit the install button. You get a nice little status. Once it's completed, you get this. You hit finish, and that's it. You should be good to go. Now, Next thing that you want to do is one of the commands within the uh, Quest software that I like using, which will get this accomplished, to go through your Active Directory and look for each user account and check if the password never expire is uh, checked off. And it's the get QAD user command. Now, I will post this link up on my blog again so you guys get a rundown. It gives you a rundown of all the parameters that this commandlet has it has a lot of them and I'll probably be going over let me see one two three four four command uh four commands four parameters and let's let's get started so I'm gonna start the Windows PowerShell ISE as a run as administrator I'm gonna minimize first I created a, a folder on my desktop because this is where I want to drop the information in, okay and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna Control C that because I want to paste that that um, passage somewhere. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to set these two commands before you even start using uh, the Quest software plugins. So you need to do a set locate location C, and then you want to do add PSS snapping Quest. After rows, add management. Now, you want to do these two first commands because if you don't do these first two commands, what's going to happen is uh, the QAD user commandlet will not work. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is let's uh, let's call this get QAD user commandlet, and we're going to use the search root parameter and the search root you need to tell it where you want it to locate where you want it to search actually so you gotta give it the domain and the organization so I'm gonna give it my domain which is uh, BJ Tech local forward slash home so it's gonna search everything inside home so everything within the home organizational group is gonna search throughout all these OUs and find which account has the password never expires. Hit the space bar, you want to give it 
the parameter of what you want it to do. So we're looking for the password never expires. Simple, right? Now I'm going to give it uh, a pipe and I'm going to give it a format table commandlet with a name. So what I want is I want to create a nice, a nice little table and the column is name and I just want to get the computer names or actually the user's name. Okay. And I'm going to pipe it again and I'm going to do out file and the location of of where I want this particular file to be uh, placed in. So I'm taking all the usernames, placing it into a file, and dropping it into this location. Now, you want to give the file a name, so I'm going to give it password never expires dot txt. Uh, once you do that, you hit the run. The bottom it says running. Once it's completed, that's it. I don't have a lot of users in my OU. I don't have a lot of users in my domain, so it, it runs pretty fast. I have no errors right here. We're going to minimize this. We're going to go into the PowerShell and we're going to double click on it and that's it. This is the name column and these are all the users that I have inside my uh, domain controller that has password never expires. And that's about it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I know there's different ways to do this. Uh, this a lot of flavors in PowerShell to do many many things but especially when it comes to Active Directory uh, please again uh, leave a comment below and also um, subscribe and uh, hopefully I see you guys later and thank you for watching thank you subscribe thank you